Man United stance on Manuel Ugarte transfer after making feelings clear to PSG. Paris Saint-Germain midfielder. Manuel Ugarte has become Manchester United's number one transfer priority after completing the signings of Joshua Xerxes and Lenny Yoro. Manchester United are determined to make Paris Saint-Germain star Manuel Ugarte, their third signing of the summer transfer window. United have enjoyed a productive week, signing striker Joshua Xerxes and defender Lenny Yoro, and now want to add a midfielder to their haul. Eric Ten Hag's side have shelled out £36.5 million to land Xerxes from Bologna and a potential £58 million for Euro from Lila and therefore don't have a huge amount left for Ugarte. PSG only signed Ugarte from Sporting Lisbon last year in a deal worth £51.1 million and understandably want to recoup the money they spent and more. The French giants are demanding £59 million for the 23-year-old Uruguay international. United have agreed personal terms with Ugarte, who has become their numbered one target, ahead of Matthijs de Ligt. Ten Hag is keen to bring in the Bayern Munich defender after losing Rafael Varane and Willy Kambwala, but knows midfield is a bigger priority. With PSG standing firm over their valuation of Ugarte, United need to focus on shifting unwanted players first. The sales of Kambwala, £10 million to Villarreal, Mason Greenwood, £26.6 million to Marseille, Donny van de Beek, £500,000 to Girona, and Alvaro Fernandez, £5 million to Benfica, as well as the departures of high earners Varane and Anthony Marshall after their contracts expired, have helped, but more are needed. United are open to offers for Victor Lindelof, Casemiro and Scott McTominay, and are also hoping to earn around £15 million for Aaron Juan Bissaka. The right-back is being eyed by West Ham, while an offer of less than £30 million from Fulham has already been rejected for McTominay, who is attracting attention for the second straight summer window. United's hopes of landing Ugarte could be helped by Jorge Mendes, the agent who also worked on Euro's move to Old Trafford. Mendes is acting for Ugarte and is also the representative of Benfica star Joao Neves, who PSG want as his replacement. Neves has a release clause worth around £100 million, and PSG need the money from Ugarte before they can move for the Portuguese youngster. But with Mendes in the driving seat on both deals, there is a hope that mutually beneficial deals can be struck. For example, United hoped that a season-long loan with an upfront fee and an obligation to buy next summer could work for all parties. Ugarte, a defensively-minded midfielder, made 37 appearances for PSG across all competitions last season, chipping in with three assists. But he lost his place at the end of the campaign and was left on the bench by Luis Enrique for both legs of their Champions League semi-final tie against Borussia Dortmund. Manchester United's stance on Manuel Ugarte's transfer has solidified following clear communication with Paris Saint-Germain, PSG a move that has reverberated through the football world. The Uruguayan midfielder had captured the attention of both clubs with his stellar performances and promising potential. As discussions unfolded, Manchester United swiftly conveyed their intentions to retain Ugarte amidst PSG's interest. The Red Devils, known for their strategic approach to squad development, identified Ugarte as a key component in their midfield plans. Their proactive stance underlined their commitment to strengthening the team with emerging talents capable of thriving in the rigorous demands of top-tier football. The declaration to PSG signaled Manchester United's resolve to build a competitive squad capable of challenging for domestic and European titles. Ugart's skill set, which combines technical prowess with tactical awareness, aligns seamlessly with the club's vision for sustained success. Furthermore, United's stance highlighted their willingness to fend off competition from rival clubs, asserting their stature in the global football landscape. This approach underscored their belief in Ugart's potential to make a significant impact at Old Trafford, solidifying his position within the team's long-term strategy. In summary, 
Manchester United's clear stance on Manuel Ugarte's transfer following discussions with PSG reflects their strategic outlook and commitment to enhancing their squad with talented players. This decisive move not only reaffirms the Red Devils' ambition, but also sets a precedent for their proactive approach in the competitive transfer market. Manchester United have set their sights on Paris Saint-Germain star Manuel Ugarte as their third significant signing of the summer transfer window. The Red Devils, known for their meticulous approach to squad improvement, have identified Ugarte as a pivotal addition to bolster their midfield ranks. Meanwhile, in other news, additionally on a related note, furthermore, Manchester United take Ivan Tony transfer stance amid Manuel Ugarte deal change. Latest Manchester United transfer news and gossip with updates on Brentford star Ivan Tony and Paris Saint-Germain midfielder Manuel Ugarte. Manchester United continue to be linked with several potential transfer targets this summer. The Reds have already confirmed their first signing with Joshua Xerxes arriving from Bologna. The striker has signed a long-term contract with United that will see him remain at Old Trafford until 2029, while Lenny Yoro is set to join him. Eric Ten Hag has been busy assessing his squad in the early weeks of pre-season training. However, some members of the squad are yet to feature after being given extended breaks following their involvement with their respective countries at Euro 2024 and Copa America. United have until September 2nd to complete any more deals for new signings. Sport News Sport has taken a look at some of the latest pieces of speculation that have been doing the rounds online and across social media over the last 24 hours. United are being credited with an interest in signing Brentford striker Ivan Toney. The Athletic have reported that United could still add to their striker options despite the arrival of Zerk Z from Bologna. It has been reported that Tony is a target for United as they look to add further striker depth to their squad. United now have Rasmus Hojlund and Zerk Z as center forward options, and the arrival of Tony would add increased competition for a starting spot in the team. Elsewhere, United are continuing to be linked with a move for Paris Saint Germain midfielder Manuel Ugarte. According to Give Me Sport, United are considering a change of strategy when it comes to signing Ugarte. It has been claimed that United are now weighing up whether or not to try and sign Ugarte on loan rather than on a permanent deal. United have already signed Xerxy and are looking to add further new signings to their squad this summer. The signing of Ugarte on loan would provide more financial room for the Reds to work with when it comes to adding new players to the squad. The Ivan Tony Connection Tony had become a sensation in the Premier League, drawing attention not just for his scoring ability, but for his relentless work ethic and charisma. United's scouting team had followed him closely, believing he could be the missing piece in their attacking lineup. The fans dreamed of his partnership with the likes of Marcus Rashford and Bruno Fernandes, imagining the goals and glory that could follow. However, with Ugarte's rise and a sudden change in the transfer market, the board began to rethink their priorities. The young Uruguayan had caught the eye of many clubs, but United's new manager saw him as vital for their midfield transition. The chemistry between Ugarte and the existing squad could provide the foundation for a dynamic playing style. As negotiations for Ugarte heated up, murmurs surfaced about the club's shift in focus. Reports indicated that the board was contemplating stepping back from the Tony pursuit, believing that securing Ugarte would solidify their midfield before looking for a new striker. The fans reacted swiftly on social media, divided. Some were thrilled about the potential of Ugarte, while others expressed their disappointment over losing out on Tony. The uncertainty created a buzz, with pundits speculating on the potential impact of these decisions. In a pivotal meeting, the manager and the sporting director discussed the implications of their choices. We need a strong midfield presence, but can we really afford to let Tony slip away? The manager pondered aloud. They understood that in football, timing was everything. After hours of deliberation, a compromise was reached. The club would make a final push for Tony while still securing Ugarte. 
The plan was bold, but risky. They needed to convince both players that Manchester United was the right place for them to flourish. As the transfer deadline approached, the tension in the air was palpable. United's delegation flew out to meet with Tony's representatives, while back home, Ugardi's deal was solidifying. With each passing hour, the clock ticked closer to decision time. In a surprising twist, Tony himself expressed interest in joining United, believing it to be a chance to elevate his game to new heights. Meanwhile, Ugarte had finalized his contract, ready to bring his unique flair to the midfield. On the final day of the transfer window, news broke. Manchester United had successfully secured both Ivan Tony and Manuel Ugarte. The announcement sent waves of joy through the fan base, uniting them once more in hope and excitement for the season ahead. As the players donned their new jerseys, they stood side by side, ready to take on the challenges that lay ahead. United's future shone brightly, fueled by the promise of new talent and the relentless spirit of the club.